Fortress Shepi, Shenis Fort and Garrison. The Romans constructed stone and tiled buildings with central heating at Minster and an earthwork fortification with a wooden palisade at Queenborough to guard the vital Swale waterway. When the Vikings arrived to plunder and later in 850 AD to stay, they used Sheppey as a stronghold with fortifications at Sherland, Minster and Queenborough. Edward III, for the defence of the realm, had a castle built at Queenborough between 1361 and 1369. And when this became outdated, fortifications were built on the point of Sheppey, the Sheerness. If you look towards the docks, the water you see is Sheerness Lines, a defensive moat built between 1780 and 1800 to protect Sheerness Naval Base and Dockyard from attack by land. The Ravelin Coastal Battery is behind you in what is now Tesco Car Park. Completed in 1905, it was mounted with two huge 9.2 inch guns. When these guns were fired, it broke windows in Sheerness. All that remains today is a round plate believed to be for an anti-aircraft gun. The Ravelin Wall, situated where the road crosses the moat, was built as part of the Shenis Lines in 1816. It is a brick-built musketry wall, 0.74 metres thick and 2.42 metres high, pierced by gun loops covering the approaches to the Ravelin. Number 1 Bastion Battery, built in 1940, had two 6-inch guns and a spigot mortar emplacement. The concrete roof of the encasement is designed to break up its outline, making it harder to see. Between number one bastion and the central bastion is a searchlight emplacement. This was used for shipping and not for aircraft. The central bastion consisted of a command post built to resemble a house, a battery with two six inch guns, two anti-aircraft guns and a rangefinder. Constructed in 1913, the Central Bastion Battery was manned by three officers and 50 men. The two Martello-type towers were fortified observation posts. One was the Extended Defence Officers Post, which controlled the minefield defending the Medway Channel. During World War I, they were painted in camouflaged colours and had guns mounted on top. The Garrison Fort was completed in 1872. It is a casemate fort in two tiers with placements for 36 heavy guns. Built of granite, the walls are 14 and a half feet thick. In 1939, before the outbreak of World War II, three six-inch guns were installed at Garrison Fort to defend the Thames Estuary. A radar station was later built on top. The Albemarle Battery built in 1899, sits on top of the old indented line fortifications with a machine gun post in front. It was used during both world wars and mounted four 12-pounder guns, two 6-pounder Hotchkiss heavy anti-aircraft guns and coastal artillery searchlights. The magnificent stonework from the original indented line fortifications of Shenis Fort which was constructed in the 1670s a part of de Gom's programme of fortification for Shenis Royal Dockyard and Fort.